Hey guys, what's going on? Um, I'm gonna be starting the uh, new some new stuff onto the channel. Um, just because my channel, I will admit, has been getting extremely stale. Um, I'm still gonna continue to do game stuff, but I'm also now gonna incorporate um, some movie stuff. Um, I've been showing you guys what movies I've picked up um, over the you know in in some recent pickup videos and what have you. Um, but I decided I'm gonna start doing a, a weekly. Um, Sh uh, show or episode uh, of just movies that I'm gonna recommend that you guys see and it's gonna be just I mean not just in, in one genre um, I have a ton of videos outside or DVDs I have blu-rays I've um, you know everything uh, and on Netflix on movies that I've that I think that you guys should uh, should check out it's gonna be in all types of genres um, the first one I'm doing today is more of like a romantic comedy type of thing um, well not really a romantic comedy but you'll see um, but I watch all types of movies. I love indie movies. I love drama movies. I love thriller movies, comedies. You name it, I I like it. I really, except for really, I'm not a big romantic comedy guy. Um, I like bromantic comedies in, in in a way, in you know the sense of like I Love You Man or Forgetting Sarah Marshall and stuff like that. But uh, I think this is gonna be a really cool idea to do, and maybe I'll even do it with the games. I'm just gonna do recommendations on stuff that, and, and maybe even movies that I say I'm gonna tell you guys to avoid. So I think that's a good way to, 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 to spice things up on this channel, which is over two years old now. Um, so you guys, you know, we'll see how that goes. Uh, we'll, we'll do it that way. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how you guys feel about it and, and whatnot. And you guys can leave me in comments. You know, if you've seen a movie or you think that I should check it out, please let me know in a PM or whatever, and I will throw it onto my Netflix uh, and, and check it out. I love getting recommendations for movies and, and, and watching them. But uh, without further ado, I'm about two minutes into this already, but that's okay because I'm not going to take the full uh, the full time. But uh, definitely one of my favorite movies of 2009 um, is 500 Days of Summer, as the Blu-ray copy. Um, I know I've I've I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this on the on my channel before, and uh, if not, then I'm mentioning it here. Basically, uh, the movie is uh, it stars uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Um, he's from. Th um, Third Rock from the Sun, uh, he was in 10 Things I Hate About You way back when, and even even further way back when, what I know him from is um, uh, Angels in the Outfield when he was about 10 or 11 years old. And uh, also is uh, Doe Zoe Deschanel, you may know her from uh, Elf, I know she was in Yes Man as well. Um, but basically, what this is, uh, it's it's kind of a romantic comedy, but it's not. Um, it's not, it's not... Uh, a romantic comedy in the sense of like a Jennifer Aniston type movie. Um, it's not, you know, the guy, you know, a, a single guy meets some girl and they fall in love and, and you know, the trials and tribulations it, it, it you know, they go through to get to, to, to you know, being together. Uh, this is more of this, basically I'll give you guys the plot is just um, this guy, uh, is his name is Tom and he's looking for the girl, you know, he's looking for the one, if you will. Uh, and you know he ever since he was younger he always just wanted to find out that, that girl and Zoe uh, who plays Summer is is a girl who doesn't really believe in love and she's she's content with just being by herself and and you know she's she's very independent and she's not looking for that guy to spend the rest of her life with and uh, they do it in us in a way which is really cool um, it's not a linear movie it doesn't start on you know at point A and finishes you know goes A B C it starts um, right from the get-go, um, they're broken up, so you know that, that they have been together, but it hasn't worked out, so it's, it'll go, it'll jump from, it'll start at day, you know, 240, and it'll go back to day one, and then it'll go to 137, and it'll go, but then back to 65, it'll keep jumping and jumping and jumping, which is really cool, because you get to see the full circle of, of the of the relationship but not exactly in in a linear way which I think is really cool and it, it really if it, it, you know it it shows you how you know the highest of highs and the lowest of lows um, because it, you know a relationship can change like that you know I mean if you've been in a relationship you know that there's those high points and there's those low points and I, the movie does a great job. You know, whenever I suggest this movie to people, I always say it's just a very real movie. Um, if you've been in a relationship or you've, you've liked somebody and, and, you know, it worked for a little while and then, and then their feelings started to reciprocate, you know, they didn't reciprocate it as much as they, as they had been. Uh, you see the slow decline and stuff like that. But um, it's, it, I, I just really like the, how they do it, you know, with that. Um, it's just the story, uh, the, the actors themselves play their characters great. You, you know, um, Levitt really 
you know, his character is is in a not I'm not gonna say desperate, but is just looking for that for that person, and um, you know, he he plays it off really well as my camera goes black. There we go. Um, so he he does that really well, and and um, Dave Chanel really just hits. I think she's the best character in this. Um, you. You love her, you know, when, when they're good, you love her, and when they're not, you hate her, and you don't want her around, and it's just like, you really, really just like hate what she does in the movie, which is good, because, I mean, if, if an actor can get that type of emotion out of the viewer, you know she's doing her job right, or he is doing her job, his job right, so it's really, it's really cool like that. Uh, there's some really, really funny uh, moments in the, um, in, in the movie, uh, there's some really funny like one-liners and stuff like that. Uh, it's not you know a very laugh out loud movie. It's more of just like you know you chuckle and stuff like that. But I don't think it's it's really not supposed to be a comedy. Um, the other thing that I really really love about the movie is the music. Um, it, it it has such a wide range of oh, it's it's a lot of indie music, um, but it has uh you know the the main band in the movie is the smiths they're like an 80s pop english pop band um and you know i there's just the the like the diversity in the mu in the music is really good there's some you know there's a lot of indie stuff there's some french music there's some dance music uh it just does it everywhere which is really cool um on top of that uh i have really really you know not to sound gay but i i love tom's style in the movie um, he, he wears a lot of cool clothes, which I like, um, because, I don't know, because I'm lame, I guess. But, um, definitely, I, you know, I'm not going to keep this too much longer, but, um, definitely, definitely check the movie out. If, if at least go buy it on DVD or rent it on DVD. You don't have to get it on Blu-ray. I just like Blu-rays. Um, just, I prefer to watch my stuff in Blu-ray. Um, but it's not a, a killer laugh out loud movie. Um, it's great. Uh, I mean, I'm not gonna say it's great to watch with a with a girlfriend or something like that because I think it's a movie that can cause fights. You know, saying like, "Oh, you do that, you do that," um, but it's just perfect to see you know the roller coaster ride that is a relationship, the ups and downs, and you know, the the feeling you get when when you first meet somebody. I know. I mean, I've been with my girlfriend now for over four years, and watching this movie takes me back to when you know we first had met, and you know, just the excitement and stuff like that of, of of you know the whole thing because throughout the movie, Tom thinks that he's, you know, their relation, you know, the, right from the get-go, Summer says, you know, I don't want anything serious, which is what exactly what he's looking for, and he lies and says that's fine, and throughout the movie, she plays that not serious card a lot, because, you know, like I said, she's not looking for that, but, um, like I said, you, there's gonna be times where you hate her, and there's gonna be times you love her, um, <coughs> the music, again, is awesome, it takes place in LA, so you see a lot of the, uh, of the city, especially because Tom is is wants to be a photo I, uh, architect. Um, the the supporting cast is actually really good. Um, I know one of the guys is on I think like uh, like NCIS or something like that. I, I don't really know that you know uh, what the exact show that he's on, but if, if you watch it, um, you'll definitely recognize him. You've seen him before. Um, it's it's just uh, the and the director who uh, directed this. His name is. I can't really see right now. Whatever. Well, the guy who, um, the Mark Webb, he is going to be the uh, new, he's the director now for, um, for uh, the new Spider-Man movie. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm just talking too much. I don't have any water. Uh, for a movie that I, I think is kind of like this is, uh, I, I, I like personally is A Garden State. It's just like that. It's got that real vibe to it, and then also, the Last Kiss, both Zach Braff movies, just because of the roller coaster, you see the highs and the lows. So again, please check out Five Hundred Days of Summer. I love this movie. It's definitely my favorite movie of two thousand and nine. Uh, it's just got everything. It's got a great story. It's got a great cast. It's got great, great music. Um, you know, there's some stuff in the movie that you know I I think some people won't like, especially girls or in a relationship or if you're in a relationship. But definitely check it out, please, guys. Uh, this went way too long. I thought it was uh, I think it was gonna go this long, but hopefully the the series catches on and you guys let me know what you think. And uh, please, if you watch the movie, send me a PM and let me know that you watched it and what you thought of it. And uh, I'll be back later on in the week with another movie to suggest to you guys. So have a good night.